Rightio, so it's the end of the day, isn't it, Ryan? Yes. And I think we forgot to do an intro. So, this is a backup. This is the backup intro. <laughs> Here we go. He's 13 year old Ryan. Look at him. He's almost the same height. Well, he's almost taller than me. <laughs> We're wearing boots. We're wearing the same sort of boots. We're both wearing mongrel boots. He loves his mongrel boots. And thank you, mongrel, because they're awesome boots. Anyway, you've known Ryan since he was a little one when he used to come out for driving with us. Originally, actually our first trip, he, he was out with his sibling sister, Chantelle. But the girls are doing the shopping day and the boys are going out exploring. So we're at the back. Left by ourselves. Yeah, so we've been left by ourselves. So Ryan's being tested as the new cameraman because I am getting sick of being the cameraman. <laughs> um, so we've got the mighty Challenger. We've got Ryan holding a rock. Ryan holding a rock. And he's holding cameras for me and we're out the back of Yale and now near Coolandale. So we'll go and check out any places that we can go camping um, and anywhere, anywhere when, well, whatever we can find. We'll see what we can find. So stay tuned and give us the likes and the thumbs up and give us a comment and tell us how you, what you think of the video. And at the end of it, we've got a little challenge <laughs> for Ryan. Ryan gets a prize if you can do this challenge. Anyway, stay tuned and enjoy. Bye. Ah, he just had to do that, didn't he? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh no. You alright? No. Run, move, move. Move, Ryan. Go away from the ants. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> hey guys and girls, I've got Ryan. Uh, out here, he's in the mirror, and it started going all over him. <laughs> Come around the other side, dude. Yeah, so we're out exploring at the back of Coolandale. Got the maps going. There's a lot of road cars. Say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> you would know him from previous videos of our channel as a little one. Now he's the same height as me and only 13. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to be my cameraman for just this little explore to find a new camping sites for everybody else so he's going to record this little trip section and yeah we'll see how we go <laughs> so this is what I was fearing. It's something <sighs> occupied private property keep out. Oh well, we have to turn around and go back. <laughs> so back up the hill. So Ryan, you had fun? You having fun already? Yes. Yeah. He's having fun being my cameraman. <laughs> so we should have him more often because then he can film my car going up things and down things. <laughs>
my cameraman's dying. <laughs> he, he just oh, had a spider on him. He just had a spider on him and freaked out. First <laughs> ants and now a spider. <laughs> What's next? It's pretty flat, that's why he's not recording it. Oh, well, we're going up a hill, but it's just Basic. no hard stuff. So we'll keep going and see what else we can find. stop it so you can probably hear us but what Ryan and I are doing is just coming out on a Sunday afternoon and we're actually just heading around Morton National Park at Coolandale sort of area just to have a look and scout of a few places that we can actually go camping instead of just going full on full driving and but you still want to get out of the place where most people will go but yeah just not full on hectic sort of tracks to get there sometimes maybe yeah but <laughs> That's be good. if we want to. Yeah, that's if we want to. But yeah, we're just, we're seeing, we're just ha dipping our fingers in, like dipping the toes in the river and seeing how, what we can find at the moment. Covered. Yeah, if our toes weren't covered, yeah. You're a smart one, aren't you? <laughs> You're a smart one. So, um, yeah, so we're just going along, we'll see what we can find. If we, we find nothing, then at least we've still got the campsites of Wombat Flats and things like that in Yow. But we just want to have something different. To, to go camping with because a lot of like Mariah has been closed down you can't get into it you can't go camping which is a big dis dis disappointment but to save the koalas and yeah I'm happy to happy to keep that closed if it means the koalas can rehabilitate anyway we'll keep going and see what we can find so it's a bit tight through here <laughs> Not many people come out on this track. Have a look. <laughs> Have it up so you can see. Um, I might get out and move that branch. Just give me a second. If I can get out. It's alright, dude. So it has been cleared. It's just a little dead branches falling down. Let's see if I can get out of here. That camera is right in my face. <laughs> Sorry, I will try to adjust that. That's so good. Should I be recording this? If you want. Yeah, I'm recording it. Oh, you can turn it off now. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a lot of dead trees. I don't even know. Uh, did the fire come through here? Probably. It doesn't. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it has had a fire, but not like intensely. Yeah, no, not intense. That was years ago. So yeah, as Ryan, like Ryan and I were just talking about it, this is what we used to do before um, the channel. We used to actually come out here, well not out here, we're at the back of um, South Narra and all that stuff and go down like the shooting range track. Um, and we used to just practice out there uh, through the mud holes and then we found hills and things like that. But yeah, that's what like Ryan, Ryan remembers as a kid. 
when we used to go in the Forerunner and then the Prado. Um, we used to just go out and explore and go forward driving and I think that's where the start of the love for forward driving came from is when just accidentally just buying a car with a wagon with a bit of clearance so we could go fishing in, in the harder areas in Nara um, and then surrounding areas but then full driving took over again and then I was introduced to all the guys when I bought the Challenger and we got that that first taste when actually you were with me I was yeah you and Rich Chantel were with me when we first went up to um, Lithgow and went Balbone and I went up up Balbone Gap with an <laughs> unlocked two inch lifted car with no no winch no nothing <laughs> um, and we like actually a, made it. It's like a rookie mission. Yeah, it was a rookie mission. The first taste of four-wheel driving, like proper four-wheel driving. And yeah, we just fell in love with it. And um, the kids were sleeping in what the four pool, sleeping in a four-person tent from Kmart. <laughs> and um, remember one night, Ryan and Chantel are like, Dad, Dad. I'm like, what? What's going on? There's a spider in the tent. I'm like, no, there isn't. I'm like, yes, there is. There's a spider in the tent. And I've shined the torch on the, on the tent. And all I've seen is this massive spider coming down inside the tent and the kids the kids didn't flip out they just don't like let me know that the actual spider was in the tent <laughs> so it brings back memories and this actually yes, just does. just exploring just brings back those memories so we'll see what we find at the end of this track I'm still recording, you know this. I know that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're like. We're almost at the end of the track. Oh no. Hopefully there's something up here. Or we it's just come up here for nothing. <laughs> right, yeah, so Ryan's now walking down. It's my cameraman, yeah. So this track, it looks like it goes to a dead end. So, but it looks like the track keeps going down, so we'll see what happens, we can see what we can go down. Worst case scenario, we have to go back to the road, and I think there's some more stuff, but we're in the middle of the bush right now, so hopefully we can find a clearing, so it might be a good camp spot. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we we're at the bottom as you can see now Mackenzie's lookout is like just up there so Mackenzie's lookout is just up there so we I remember looking down and seeing a track down here so this might be the track but we're gonna go down a little bit further and see what happens but there's a track going that way and there's a track going this way and there's nothing on the map so it's fresh territory so this this is what adventure is all about. And Ryan stopped recording, but sorry, it's all right. No, but mind. according to our map, it's this is the end of the track. So an adventure begins. I think Ryan's going down there. Are you going down there without the camera, cameraman? Going down there. Without the camera. Oh my God! Do I do I pay this guy or not? He wants this camera. Should I just buy him one or should I just give him one of the other ones? I've got not, I've got two others that we don't use. What'd you say? Sorry, do you want me to go down? It's up to you. Do you want to go for a walk with camera? You. Yes. Okay, okay. This is still going to be recording, you know that. <sighs> More recording and I'm going there. 
slightly insane. I'm not sure how steady the recording is going to be. What is it? Okay. Never mind. That was short lived. following behind continues. How wonderful. I don't think the footage would be all clear. It's like all shaky, probably. Okay. Right, yeah, so Ryan's being an awesome cameraman. Yep. He is. He's loving the camera. But just look what we found. A creek crossing. There's not much of a creek, but it's something. It's something. It's actually pretty cool. I think we hit the, the end of the track, maybe. Good. We cleared, but I don't think we can actually go any further. Yeah. Well, the maps were right. It was pretty much just a couple of hundred millimeters, or maybe 50 meters left, and then, um, yeah, dead end, as you can see. So, I don't know, what do you want to do? Do you want to go back to that other right that we didn't go down? Can we turn left? Mm -hmm. Or we can turn right. I mean, it's up to you what, what you want to do. Well... I'm happy with what decision you make. Yeah, I mean... I'm going to get out of here first, so we've got to be able to reverse out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Could, could this be a camp spot? If it was bigger, yes, it could have. Like you've got, you've got a spot here. Give it this. Yeah. So you've got a spot just here. Let's bring this out a bit. But then you've got all this bit, which would need clearing anyway. So yeah, nah. Maybe a like a maybe a one to two car hideaway could be done, but we'd have to clear it. So, but we're not going to clear this. Cause this is national park i'm pretty sure um so we'll get going and see what else we can find he's left me he's done that Passer for a cameraman. He's a bit, he's a bit puffed out on that last one. <laughs> so we're heading back out because this all this road has gone to a dead end. And yeah, whether we can camp here or not, I don't think so. Is that you? Me? Making that banging noise? No. Oh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're going up the, the mountain now. So we're almost at the top. I'm not sure if I deserve the role as cameraman yet. I think I still need a few months worth of that. He needs to learn. Oh crap. Yes. <laughs> I um, yeah, no, nah, he's good. 
but um, it's it's not it's you can't really stuff up with the GoPro apart from if you point it down or you point it up. So we'll see how the footage comes along with this. <laughs> so the first thing we do, we got to get out of here. Yes. So we got off the track and we we're driving along the road and we're coming down and we're like, hang on a second, what have we found? It's like a camping spot. But look, there's, there's about a, it looks like an old, it is too, it's like an old building. That's cool. It's got steel. Still re oh yeah, so if you could steal there, you'd walk in. Interesting. Oh, it's got plumbing, so yeah, it's not old old, but there was something here. Oh, look at the beast. <laughs> so here's a good spot, but we're very close to the road, so yeah you could get you want you want out of the way you don't want people coming around so it's a good area so if anybody knows anything about this like we're near Coolandel now every there's like little campsites scattered off the, this little road we just went through a nice little creek crossing we'll video on the back but yeah like there's camp spots all off the road here and I've, I've never seen it it's like this tiny little spot for maybe two or three cars there's a good spot for probably about five or six cars. Um, but yeah, they're just off the road. So if anybody's got any uh, information in regards to whether you can camp there, whether you should camp there or not, just leave it in the comments or just DM us on Instagram. Uh, we'll just keep following along and we'll see what we can find. Oh! Yeah, no. Nah. There's a boulder. Stop there's water. a boulder blocking the road, so blocking that track, so we can't go up it. <laughs> So no, we'll just continue on. Oh, here's another one. I can go up. Oh, no, that's blocked up as well. I didn't focus on that, did I? No, that's all right. Oh. Yeah, we're finding little offshoots going up these boulders, like heaps of big rocks, rock climbs, but they've got boulders halfway up, so you definitely can't climb up it. Uh, and it looks like they've intentionally put them there so people can't go up and lose it. Oh, here it is. Wow. All right. Not maintained like Alright, so we've hit Colonel but we've hit Yell Creek Road. Now I don't I didn't know about this track. Um and it's so it just says council doesn't maintain these tracks, so we'll go up here. Cause the, the rest of Coolandell goes down to a campsite down the bottom. Or do you want to go to the you want to go to the campsite or do you want to go up this hill? Up to you. That's up to you. Up like to you, dude. Up to you. <laughs> we have these arguments like we try to make a decision and neither, neither of us are making the bloody decision. <laughs> All right. So you're if you win rock paper, rock paper scissors, oh, God, we go to Coolandale. Yeah. If I win, we go up up here. Ready? Okay. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Ah, oh, you won. So we're going to the cool Coolandale. Okay.
Uh, so <laughs> we we found this little this little track on the on my Jeep, my tablet, and we're like, oh yeah, it gets close to the river. Well, that's the river. There's a tiny little camp by there, and then the river is all the way down there. And there's a like this is cool. This is like a cool little campsite. There's a zip line. Yes, there is a zip line up there. There's no signs, no nothing. Everything's open, there's no gates. And I was just like, oh, we'll just go down and see what happens. It looks like there's a truck that keeps going down, but it's just overgrown. Oh wow, there is a, there is one. So Ryan's getting attacked by the plants and the bees, which is cool. But this is not a track that we can go down or make to go down. But it looks like a little walking trail. You can kind of walk down. I don't think you'd want to swim in this sort of water. All right, let's see if we can get down. Well, we've made it to the water. You can walk down here, it's just very no. soft. No. That's cool. Why'd you fall on your arm? Mainly. You'll be right, man. You're a tough man. You're tough. You're super tough. <laughs> you gotta entertain a 13 year old somehow. I don't think there'll be much fish in there. Not at the moment, anyway. So this is specifically what we, Ryan and I were getting out to do, was to find spots like this. So you have a view of the river. And we can actually walk down to the river. So we just walked down the river, see if we can get down there. So even it'll be good to go fishing down there. But this is a perfect spot for, I'd say two or three rigs with river views so. and you're secluded, nobody around and if anybody does come down they're pretty much trapped so oh, nice yeah we'll keep this one in the bank and we might come back here with a couple of other guys all right with that that we found this campsite I reckon we'll call it it's 3 30 on Sunday Ryan you're done <laughs> he's good um, we just went down to the river and it was a bit of a trek to come back up here. So we'll call it here. This is our, gonna be one of our campsites. Um, we're gonna keep this one quiet. Sorry, don't ask, cause we won't tell you. Uh, I won't even show it on the maps. So, but yeah, if you know it, we'll try and keep it quiet. Um, probably won't come down here for too much, but yeah, it's a nice little spot. And by the river, it's what we wanted. So we'll leave it here ended here it's just a short one so i hope you enjoyed ryan's camera camera work and if you want if you want him to be a cameraman for, for us a little bit more and he can come out camping with us give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment saying ryan you need to be the cameraman and i'll start teaching 50,000 likes and then i'll be the cameraman <laughs> 50,000 likes you'd have to get 50,000 views dude <laughs> um, yeah true but, okay, share it then, and see if we can get 50,000 likes, and I'll buy him a digital SLR. So 50,000 likes, and I'll buy Ryan a digital SLR. We'll leave it at that. Yeah? What do you reckon? Do you reckon we can get it there? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. And remember, make your own destination. Oh, wait a minute. Ryan's going to say bye, too. No. Yes, he does. Ryan, you don't have to say it. Dude, where'd you go? You don't have to say it, but just say goodbye. Dude, you just gotta say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, say goodbye. All right, see, see you everyone. <laughs>